Okay, okay, I admit it. I was having a little bit of fun there, but hey, I'm not completely fooling you. I did put this in with a hammer. Let's check it out. Well, hey y'all, what's up? Jess here, LJM Farms. And I've got a little gate project I'm working on today, putting in some eight inch uh, posts for H braces and gate, gate posts. And so I thought I'd bring you along because I'm using a really cool tool and uh, really impressed with it. I think you will be too, if you hadn't seen one before. Uh, awesome piece of equipment and so what I got going on here this is an area there was a gate here before uh, but it, it had just been grown over with vines and briars the posts had rotted out really not usable actually the old gates over here in the trees I don't know if you can see it or not but anyhow clean this area up with the grapple tree puller a little bit of chainsaw work and so I'm setting posts to get some new uh, to gate, gates to put in here and this was a pre-existing fence. So I'm trying to line it up with that fence. And I have an auger, uh, a post hole digger for the front of the tractor, uh, you know, the front end loader. And that's fine, you know, you can tamp it in, you can tamp your post in or use concrete. Uh, I got to talking to a buddy at work. He loaned me this uh, attachment here and a super good guy. Uh, appreciate it, Robert, if you ever watched this video. So yeah, we've got eight inch posts in the ground, uh, ready to, uh, put some brace posts in, hang some gates, stretch some barbed wire, and uh, took no time at all. Didn't have to wait on concrete to dry, no messy foam. I mean, this, this is a win in my book. So let me show you what I used, show you how I got these in here. We'll come back and talk about it. And uh, maybe show you putting up some gates and a few tips, you know, along the way.
Well, all right, as you can see, I'm sure you could tell they're driving those posts. Dan Uzer Hammer SM40. Now this is the SM, as in S is in Sam. See right there? And it worked on my tractor just fine. The only issue is this is set up for a skid steer. So the Dan Uzer is right in the center of that quick attach mount. Now they have a model called the LM40. And that is actually four tractor loaders and it's offset to, the, to this side here so that you can you can peek around and see, you know, get more visibility of, of that post and where you're driving it. Uh, so there is one thing, you know, I kind of, which I'm a one man show today. So I had to get off the tractor on and off anyway, as you've probably seen in the video to check level both ways. There is a plumb bob on here, but uh, that only, only shows you, you know, you're kind of left to right plumb and not away from you plumb so yes i did say plumb not level plumb is vertical level is horizontal but this does have the grapple on it use that work great so yeah the only issue is is kind of some visibility there um you know getting that post right where you want it because i had my post i marked out my post where i wanted them and so so yeah i kind of had to just go back and forth there and uh you know, make sure everything was uh, in the right spot and uh, kind of tap, you know, kind of get them set on the ground a little bit and tap them over with a, a hammer a little bit to kind of get them right exactly where I wanted them. Still work great, even though this is set up more for a skid steer. Uh, like I said, I would much rather have the LM40 for the tractor loader. But as I mentioned, a coworker, buddy, friend of mine, let me borrow this. And so, you know, I may do with it. Even me out here by myself today. It's just a lot of on and off the tractor, but man, it drove the posts in no time. So, and these were eight inch round posts. So I did measure a few of them and on the big end, uh, they were right at eight inches, maybe seven, seven and a half on the small ends. Yeah, that's it. I'm ready to put in horizontals. Uh, you know, do some my brace wires, get some ball bar stretched up here, and uh, probably pick up my gates uh, Monday and get those put in. Now this is a, a cross fence here in the hay meadow, and you can see where I've been cleaning all that junk out here. And so this gate isn't going to be used all the time, but probably, you know, during the fall of the year, I will shut these gates and be able to graze this part and keep them out of here. And then once I get all that, that meta grazed, then I'll let them in here and graze this stockpile or if I plant anything in here. So I do need the gates. Uh, it's not a gate we're gonna use every day, but definitely will come in handy. So I'm excited to get this done and get this area cleaned up because it was hard to get in here even with trucks and trailers. So yeah, we're gonna carry on this project and uh, try to knock this thing out. Well, all right, I'm back. As you can see, got all my H braces made, my gates hung. And uh, pretty much all I gotta do is kind of stretch up some of this barbed wire here, get it out of the dirt, untangled and all that good stuff. And we're ready to go, we're in business. Got paint marker all over my hands, anyway. So I made one mistake on this and uh, I've got a different video I'm gonna do on hanging, how to hang basically double farm gates and a few little simple tips and tricks that make it really quick and easy, no math involved. And so check that video out. It's kind of tied in the wind with this one, but I made hanging the gates and how to do it a separate video. So if you're interested in that, check it out. I'll post a link for it as usual. And so I kind of had to make a compromise here and I went over this in that video. When I was driving these posts, I forgot to account for this elevation change here. And so I drove these posts equal distance in the ground, but what I should have done was stretched my string line from that post over this post so that the heights of both posts would have been equal that would have made hanging these gates uh, really easy and getting them lined up and level so i kind of had to make some compromises on my height you know between this gate and that gate and just you know these gates set up here aren't level um, they are just kind of lined up with each other and that's just to make it look decent not a big deal i'm in the back pasture you know only me and a select few is going to be able to see it. The main thing is it's going to work. 
And so this will help us in our grazing and uh, locking these cows in or out of this area. And so that's what we're shooting for. Well, all right, there you go. There's driving post with a hammer. Like I said, had a lot of fun there. Uh, hopefully enjoyed this video because I sure enjoyed making it. Uh, tried to do a little bit of uh, different editing there. Just having a little bit of fun, trying to hone my skills a little bit. You know how it is. So got my H braces built. Uh, if you want any details on any of that, let me know in the comments and I'll, I can go over that. But I mean, there's a hundred videos on H braces out there. So everybody does them a little bit different. Uh, I tend to lean this way that I do them. Anyhow, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. I've got a lot of projects planned. I've got a lot of fence to build. We'll be starting our cattle pens and cattle working facilities from scratch. I'm basically losing the ones I have now because of, uh, uh, you know, we're getting a new neighbor basically, and the old pens was on my neighbor's property that we bought the place from. So I'm going to have to set up new cattle pens, some new fencing, uh, some livestock water, uh, infrastructure for rotational grazing, all that good stuff. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. So yeah, I think that's it for this video. I'm going to call this one good. Uh, Y'all have a blessed day, a blessed week. Hopefully we'll see you on the next one.